Yes, it's a small sample size. Yes, it's only preseason. But the performance of the Denver Broncos offensive line in the preseason opener against the Arizona Cardinals last Friday was concerning. Broncos quarterback Russell Wilson had an overall good game, but he was sacked once and hit five times. Wilson was frequently under pressure, much like during a significant part of the 2022 season. This is particularly worrying because the new coach, Sean Payton, made improving the offensive line a priority during the offseason. He brought in quarterback Ben Powers and tackle Mike McGlinchey in significant deals during free agency. McGlinchey didn't play on Friday due to a knee sprain, but Powers started and was beaten multiple times in pass protection. Again, it's a small sample size. Powers is shaking off rust and was playing with his new teammates for the first time in a game, but Denver will need a better performance from their new guard during the 2023 season. Even left tackle Garrett Bowles, a second team All Pro and Pro Bowler, struggled against the Cardinals. To be fair to the veteran tackle, Bowles is coming back from a broken leg that prematurely ended his 2022 campaign. So, perhaps Bowles should be given some leeway as he regains form, but the rest of the line doesn't have that excuse. We'll watch the film, break down the film, and see what we need to do to improve, Bowles said after an 18-17 loss. If the Broncos reach Week 1 and the offensive line is clicking and performing well, the shaky start from Friday's preseason will quickly be forgotten. However, Denver fans hope that Friday's lackluster performance isn't a sign of what's to come in the regular season. Leave your comments in the video description. Please I need the help of all the Broncos fans to help us with your entry. We will seek to bring the best news to each of you. I count on your help. Thank you so much to all fans of the Broncos a big hug to all.